Erev Tov Chavrim, I'm Stephen Benoon, and you're watching Israeli News Live. We're on the road right now, so having to do a little bit different on our news broadcast, but we have some very, very serious news that is coming uh, from a, around the world, especially being reported in the European uh, Times uh, news, news source here online. Um, you can find these called the European Union Times. That's uh, on these articles here. One of the articles is, is entitled, Pope Francis Lashes Out at Capitalism Calls for Communism While in Bolivia. Uh, another article that we'll be looking at as well is uh, on the same site, uh, the European Union Times called, Stunned Obama Flees to Pentagon After Receiving Putin War Order. You heard that right. It is a war order that Putin uh, has uh, sent to uh, President uh, Barack Obama. And, uh, and of course, uh, things can only get worse from there. Uh, but anyway, let me take you to the, to the first of the article here about Pope Francis. I think it's very important that you see this and as well because there's, there's something that I'm beginning to draw from the events that are transpiring. So as I begin to share this with you, I'd like for you to keep in the back of your mind here uh, the, the steady meetings that have been happening between uh, Pope Francis and as well as President Putin. And it, it may be uh, something that we would normally think, well, no big deal, uh, but watch the comments that uh, Pope Francis makes here in Bolivia. Uh, here the article states, Pope Francis has urged the people of Latin America to stand up to the world's capitalist system and change the world economic order uh, by creating a truly uh, communi uh, communitarian economy based on distribution of goods among all. Communism is exactly what he uh, spoke about in Bolivia. He said here, start, uh, starting his speech with the need to in instigate change, he called on the faithful to fight and to protect human dignity in a system where farm workers end up without land or home and laborers without rights. Uh, do we realize that that system has imposed the mentality of profit at any price with no concern uh, for social exclusions of the destruction of nature, he asked at a power, powerful speech before a gathering of social movements in Bolivia. Uh, once capital becomes an idol and guidelines individuals and once greed for money presides over the entire social economic um, system, it ruins society, Francis said. It enslaves individuals and destroys uh, fraternity, a system which excludes, uh, debases, and kills. The system, he goes on to say, is now in intolerable, so let's not be afraid to say it. We need change. We want change, Pope Francis said. Kind of sounds like Barack Obama uh, uh, several years back there saying the same thing, that he was going to bring change. In fact, interestingly enough, many people believe that Obama is the Antichrist. Well, however, he may have been groomed and believed that he actually is the one world leader. That's only a facade. It's actually Pope Francis that definitely is that one world and uh, leader there. Let me just share with you another article here, and this is on Now the End Begins. The editor notes here, and he's actually quoting some of the article here from the one I just mentioned to you here on the European Union to uh, Times. But the editor stated here, Pope Francis, having laid the groundwork over the past two years, has begun his ascent to obtaining uh, raw political power. Francis is going to create a one-world church uh, powered by the revived Roman Empire. Then he is going to combine the two. Just you watch and see. And that's stated by the editor of, uh, of the uh, online uh, magazine, Now the End Begins. Uh, and he did an article there called In a Fiery Speech, uh, Speeches, Pope Francis exo uh, ex extra, extra, extra Eights Global Capitalism, Communism, as the European Union Times has actually put it. Now, my concern is, is that Pope Francis is actually working with President Putin, seeing the need for the destruction of the United States in his ideology, I might add, not that... The U.S. should be destroyed, but in his own ideology, 
he would like to see the U.S. come down, and the reason being is because the U.S. is a capitalist country. It is a place where people that, are, that work hard can actually get ahead in life, you might say. Well, communism doesn't work that way. And speaking about the redistribution of wealth, it reminded me of an article that I, or a, a, a particular a prophetic passage that I had read from the Apocalypse of Thomas the other day, and I think it's worth reiterating here just for a moment for the sake of thinking about what is actually said there. And it says here, And after that, again, a king shall arise in the south part of the world. Well, he is from South America, Argentina, in fact. Um, and it says, And shall hold rule a little, a little space, in whose days the treasury shall fail because of the wages of the Roman soldiers. Well, in this case, he is the king of Rome. He is the pope uh, of the Catholic Church, which is in Rome, Italy. And in fact, his Roman soldiers is NATO. And the United States has been fighting his wars for quite some time now and have definitely bankrupt the economy in doing so. That is why the United States is in such tremendous struggle financially is all the wars that America has waged over the last, say, 40, 50 years. But it goes on to say something else that's very interesting here. Uh, it says that the substance of all the age shall be commanded to be taken and given to the king to distribute, or in this case, redistribute. Exactly what he's calling for when he's down in uh, South America, he was calling for redistribution of wealth. Communism. Well, maybe this is why he's been working with President Putin recently. President Putin, a well, he's more of a monarch than, a, than, than in communism, but the nation itself, Russia, is a communistic country. And so therefore, what better to have President Putin fight the battles for the future wars that are to come. Speaking of future wars, another article here on European uh, Union Times here, it says here, Pope, uh, excuse me, uh, that is, uh, the stunned Obama flees to the Pentagon after receiving Putin's war order. That here says the Ministry of Defense is reporting today that this morning's emergency activation of the immediate combat readiness status of the 102nd military base near uh, uh, Guam, or excuse me, Armenia, is directly related to the 4th of July war order issued by President uh, Putin, authorizing the sinking of U.S. Navy's guided missile destroyers USS Porter DDG-78 that just entered into the Black Sea on July 5th. According to this report, on July 4th, President Putin communicated directly with President Barack Obama outlining the exact perimeters of his war order and further expressed the Federation gave concerns regarding the United States' massive global war games that are currently underway or due to start this month. That included in part uh, Talisman Sabre 2015, Jade Helm 15, and Breeze 15. These are the three different war games that Obama is instructed to take place. Of the greatest concern of the Federation regarding these massive U.S. war moves, this report continues, is Breeze 15 that included 30 ships and around 1,700 personnel from Greece, Bulgaria, Turkey, as well as the U.S. belonging to the standing NATO maritime group, uh, the SNMG-1, and standing NATO uh, mine uh, Countermeasures Group 2 that began operations in the Black Sea on July the 3rd. And in heightening these uh, grave concerns even more, this report explains was Greece Prime Minister Alex Tsipras stating to President Putin last week that the Greek Navy uh, contingent of NATO Breeze 15 war game had been refused permission by his government to participate uh, in in, in it due that the nation's severe financial crisis, this leading to fears the Obama regime was planning to use excess uh, exercise in a coup against that country and democratically elected leaders. Uh, as you may very well know, uh, President Putin has already extended a hand to uh, the Greece's prime minister that if he needs, they will step in and back his government. And quite frankly, if, as we've watched, President Putin has been working very aggressively on bringing in 
a whole new set of uh, nations, including China, Iran, now even offering it to Greece and many other, or even some of the, uh, the Russian Federation nations as well, Belarus even, and Georgia, is bringing in their own economic new structure powerhouse. And of course, this would certainly collapse the U.S. economy, especially as a world global reserve by the IMF, if this were to be done. One reason why Obama would much rather go to war to try to keep the U.S. dollar afloat. But if the things are going the way it's looking right now, the U.S. won't fare out very well in this particular battle because it looks like the Pope has his eye on President Putin as being his new warlord of the century. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. Shalom and good evening.